Hi, I'm uh, Ted Pierce. I'm uh, the, the uh, front house engineer with uh, Who's Bad. Also do all the production management. Uh, been with these guys about 13 months. Uh, nine world tours in the last 10 months. So I know you're using the Tannoy new VQ live system on this tour. Let's, what's your first impressions of it? Oh, very first impression, first day. Plugged it in. Networked everything together, hit play, was blown away. Um, I come from a, a very large studio background, and uh, just the, the fidelity in the high end is, is absolutely amazing. Um, honestly, it absolutely blew me away within the first 15 seconds. Of, so, uh, how, do you, PA on. how do you think it compares acoustically to other systems you might have used for this kind of job? Uh, very, com you know, it's very comparable. There's, uh, you know, I, I would love to shoot it out between um, a VDOS or DMB line array. Um, you know, no offense to uh, a Vertec rig, but I, I would take one of these any day over a Vertec rig. <laughs> so, no, even what sort of man, what sort of demands does a, a tour this size like put on a system in terms of performance, material, and the sorts of venues that you're playing? It's it's actually very um, you know high demanding. We are a Michael Jackson tribute. However, the uh, the style of tribute we are, we you know we we uh, focus a lot on the band and you know on the actual performance. Um, as opposed to you know running a million tracks and that sort of thing. So um, we are a rock band, and you know, like any other rock band, we you know we do you know require you know very nice systems. It's you know it's uh, in order to to get our sound that we need. It, you know we can't just go out there on speakers and sticks. You know mm. either need you know, some line arrays or a nice you know ground stack system. Um, what sort of boxes are you using for tonight's gigs like in terms of the VQ product? Like how many VQ sixties? Tonight, tonight we're using half the PA. Uh, we're only using two VQ60 tops and uh, two of the 215s. Um, on this tour, we're traveling with two aside, two tops and two subs aside. Um, two VQ60s and then uh, one 215 and one 218 on each side. So, are all the venues of a similar scale? Do you think it's important for the system such as this to be scalable? To Yes, I mean, that's like any system, you know, and any touring engineer, it's, you know, the, the amount of air and, the, you know, the size of the room and the amount of people and also the, uh, you know, balconies and so on and so forth is, you know, a huge factor in, you know, what PA we're using. Um, like, for example, tonight, not as large of a room, but yet we still, a lot of airs, you know, so we, we still need to have enough PA to cover the room, uh, but not make it uncomfortable for the audience. So, obviously, VQ Live, it's a self-powered system with integrated DSP. So you don't need outboard racks or amplification in. Do you think that's important, or do you have a preference either way for passive or active systems? Uh, you know what, I, I, I generally don't have a preference because I'm not the one loading the truck. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, it, I'm kind of impartial to that sort of thing. You know, it's uh, it really just depends on the overall performance of the box. If you know, I love a, you know a passive system. Um, it, it's fine as long as it performs the way I need to perform, mm -hmm. and you know I can get the sound out of it that I need for for a quality show. What do you see the advantages are in point source systems compared to linery? Um, in, in this system, I, I definitely see an advantage, just the amount of boxes. Um, you know, at 142 SPL a box, it's crazy loud. Um, so, you know, like last year, for example, at the same venue, I had two MSL3 cabs aside. Um, and this year I have one VQ60 box aside. So right there, that saves on crew load-ins, time setting up the rig. Um, granted, two MSL threes boxes aside is not much, um, but one you know one VQ sixty aside is definitely outperforming those boxes from last year for sure. What system? Oh, actually, following on from that, what systems would you normally have specified for a tour like this? Specified for a tour like this, I was um, on my production rider. I had a Martin W eight LC um, specified for it. Um, once again, small, compact, easy to fly. Um, and when I, you know, got the word that we were, you know, going to receive this new Tanoi system, um, at first I'd, I'd never heard, like anyone, never heard of the system, jumped online and started reading the specs, and I was like, I'd, I would love to try it, you know, it was just, um, yeah, you know, at first I didn't, I just didn't know the system, and after reading the specs and everything, I was like, yeah, I would love to give it a try. How easy do you think it, obviously, the, for yourself and the crew, how easy do you think it was to set up and tune for a new venue and get a good sound of it compared to what you're used to? Um, actually, uh, very easy to be honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to sugarcoat this at all, uh, but this is our third show on this tour. We have 27 more after this. Um, 
after the first two nights, I'm completely, you know, completely comfortable linking everything together and, you know, going through the DSP and the, um, the program and the computer and, and going through and tuning the room out. It's super easy. Um, Tannoy makes it with the uh, software that comes with the boxes. It makes it super easy because you can locate your device. You can go in and, and EQ each individual box. Um, like last night, for example, or two nights ago, for example, um, three, about a third way through the show, I ended up taking the, in, the inside boxes and dropping them, you know, 3 dB a piece, um, just so I get a little bit more push out of my live vocal mics. Like any engineer knows, when you're ground stacking, you run into a little bit more chance of feedback in front of house, just because you're, you know, that much closer in proximity to your PA. So that helped me out a ton. Um, at any other, you know, passive rig, without that, you know, ability to do that, um, it would make it a little bit harder, you know. Mm. There are plenty of, you know, drive rack management systems that have the same capabilities, um, but it just seems this one's, you know, very user friendly and, and very easy to operate. So. so I think the range, obviously, is the first thing for Tannoy they've done this sort of thing. So it's still in its infancy and it's being developed over the coming year. So in your professional opinion, what features and additions would you kind of see to the V60 top and the 218 sub would you like to see coming out? Ooh, you know what? I don't know yet. <laughs> I, uh, third, you know, being our third show, about to start our third show here, you know, a week from now, I guess I would probably have a lot more um, ideas as to, you know, what modifications and stuff. Um, being the third show, I'm just now getting settled into the rig, you know, just now being able to actually go in and, and tweak everything. Just because, you know, brand new tour, it takes a lot to, you know, get everything and get everyone comfortable. Uh, make sure everything's running okay so I can just go out there and focus simply on the rig. Um, and tonight was actually one of the first nights I've been able to do that. Um, yeah, you know, I, I honestly I wouldn't have, uh, at this point I couldn't sit here and tell you what I would change. At this, po at this point in your usage of the system, do you think you would recommend it to other engineers? Yes, I would, uh, I would highly recommend it, you know. Coming from a, a large studio background like myself, just the the high fidelity, you know, the, the fidelity alone in these boxes is just, it's supreme. Um, you know, the, when we first, in South End at the uh, Cliffs Pavilion, when I first got the PA and we first set it up and, you know, put in, like any engineer, you know, we have our, our list of songs that we go through and listen to just to tune out a PA and make sure that you know, everything's going to sound okay. Um, first song, it, the system's completely flat. You know, it, it sounded absolutely amazing. I was blown away. You know, I believe uh, Stuart was the guy there on hand that night. And uh, I think within 45 seconds, I was already ranting and raving to him. And he could probably confirm that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Do you have any message for the guys at Tannoy, the engineers that have put this system together? Uh, great job. <laughs> guys, I, I really appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to, to try your system out and to uh, test it out, basically. Um, yeah, I'm, like I said a million times, I'm blown away by your system. Uh, I want one in my living room. Ha, ha, ha.